Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import multiple excel sheets into SQL server table using csharp.net. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Gerald and he asked that do you have a video using csharp to import from an xls with multiple sheets. So I thought to make a video on this one so let's jump to the demo. In my d files location I got a file email.xlsx so if I open this particular file so this particular excel file contains three sheets we have the sheet number one as data and the id starts from one and it goes up to 100 okay and then we got another sheet named email and the id starts from 101 and it goes up to 200 okay and then we got the third sheet as sheet one and the id starts from 201 and it goes up to 300 so every sheet contains 100 records and the id is unique across all sheets okay so what we will do we will write the code inside the c sharp console app using c sharp.net to import the data from this particular excel file from all three different sheets okay so you can just pass the name of the excel file and it can import the data for all the different excel sheets into the sql server table so in this particular excel sheet we have the columns as id first name last name email and gender and in the SQL Server database as well, I got an email table and we have the same columns like ID, first name, last name, email and gender. Okay. So, and at the moment the table is empty. So let me write the code inside the csharp.net and I will share you the code and the create table statement as well and maybe the source Excel file as well so that you can test the code on your environment as well. And you can also use the same code inside the SSIS package as well inside the script task. So this is my c sharp console app and as of now we don't have any code here so we need to write the code inside the main method because the program will start from the main method okay and i actually already written the code and i can just simply copy the code from here and i can paste inside the c sharp console app and then maybe i can just briefly tell you like what we are doing here and then we can just try to import the data so let me just copy the uh, namespaces from here and i can edit inside the namespaces okay so it is missing the microsoft.office.interop.excel so what i need to do i need to add a reference to excel library so i can click on com component and then i can type excel here so we have this microsoft office 16.0 object library so i can select this one and i can click on ok so now the microsoft.office.interop.excel library has been added here ok and the error is also gone ok so now we are good here and now i can just simply copy this particular code from here till the last line and i can copy from here and i can paste the whole code inside the main method and we also have the main method inside the uh, script task in ssis so you can also use the same code in the ssis package as well okay so let me close this one so that we can have a closer look at the code so let me just briefly tell you like what we are doing here so in the first two lines these two lines they are related to logging so we have defined a log folder location here so in case if the process will fail uh, whatever code is written inside the try block if the code will fail then it will create a error log underscore current date time dot log file at the d files logs location okay every time a new file will be created and the error description will be written to the new file and this is the path of the source xls file so in case if you want to import a new file every time then you can just pass the a file path into this particular variable file path variable so in case if you want to import every day a new file then you can use a for each loop container and then you can just pass the file path using the file path ssis variable and you can pass the value here like dts dot variables i have created a lot of videos like how you can use the ssis variable inside the script task and maybe i can share the link of one of the video like how you can use the ssis variables inside the script task and this is the connection string so this is the name of our sql server instance on which the table email table exists so this is our server name and then uh, this is our database name so our table exists inside the test database and we are using the uh, windows authentication here now in the try block so in this particular line we just created an instance of the excel application and then we got all the excel files in, inside the wb workbook so we are just looping through all the excel sheets in the excel file so that we can import the data from all different excel sheets okay 
and then we are retrieving the excel sheet name from here here we are just creating a connection to the excel file and then using the OLEDB connection to connect to the excel sheet opening the connection so at this particular location we are just selecting the data from the excel sheets and writing the data into the data table using the data adapter and then we are just closing the connection and then here we are using a SQL connection to write the data to the SQL server table opening the connection and then here we are using the SQL bulk copy to bulk insert the data to the email table okay and then we are just writing the data to the destination table and then we are closing the connection and here we are closing the excel sheet and in case if any error will occur then the error log underscore current date time dot log file will be created inside the D files location and the error description will be written to that particular file so this is what we are doing here so if you want to see like how the data will be inserted for each file then maybe we can just put a breakpoint at the try block here and let me just close the excel sheet so that we won't face any issue while executing the code you can execute the code in one go but I'm just showing you like how you can import the data from one excel sheet at a time okay so I can click on the start button and you can press F10 from the keyboard but here I'm just uh, clicking a step over so it created an instance of the excel file opening the excel file now it is looping through all the excel sheets so if you check the excel sheet count here so that we have the three excel sheets okay and then let me just step over okay and then it is opening the excel file and now if you want to check the name of the excel sheet so the first excel sheet name is data and it has filled the data adapter now it has closed the excel connection and then it opened the sql connection now and uh, now it has written to the SQL server table so the first sheet the first data sheet has been inserted to the SQL server table and 100 records should be inserted so far so if you see here 100 records had been inserted and the ID starts from 1 and it goes up to 100 ok and now if I continue running this particular code then it will try to import the second file ok so now it is started reading the data from the second file and if you check the name of the excel sheet so the second excel sheet name is email okay and if i click on continue so now it has inserted the data to the email table again so now there should be 200 records in the sql server table so you can see that 200 records had been inserted as of now and after the id 100 it is started inserting the data for 100 101 and 102 okay and it should go up to 200 and I can just click on step over or maybe I can just click on continue and it can execute the rest of the code so now there should be 300 records in the SQL server table yeah so you can see that 300 records has been imported so this is how you can just uh, use this particular code to import the data from multiple excel sheets into the SQL server table and you can also use the same code like whatever code I have written in the main method you can write the same code inside the main method in the script task in SSIS package ok and in case if you face any issue then you can just uh, put a comment on this particular video and I will share this code with you and all the like creatable statement for the email file and I will also share the excel sheet as well with you yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.